No, I can say that! What's up guys, it's Deceiver. I'm here on Guild Wars 2, and I'm gonna do a first impression slash review of the game. So far, the game is actually pretty decent. It's got really good graphics, everything feels really smoothly, and I'm about to go through a list of pros and cons of the game. Okay, so we'll go for, we always do the pros first, we'll do the cons after, unless it's a really shitty game and there are no pros, kind of like Swordsman Online. <laughs> there are a few games that I just I just despise after trying them. Um, so some of the pros. Guild Wars uh, 2, no questing. That is awesome. Aside from your personal story, there is no go to an NPC, click something, do this, and then, you know, go back to them and turn it in. That's not how it works on this game. In this game, you go to these little heart areas, and you do, like, little events. You kind of, like, it'll pop up up here, it'll tell you to kill some stuff, check some traps, you know, do some stuff. And once you do enough of that, it'll automatically give you the experience that you need. Which I think is it's pretty cool. You can gain experience from just exploring. You can gain experience from uh, doing crafting, doing all kinds of stuff that you want to do. Um... Interactive uh, environments. This game has like events that go on, and it'll pop up on your map in a little circle, and everybody goes to them that's in the area, and you get XP for doing those. And basically, like you defend a camp, or you know, escort something, or fight a big boss, and everybody does it, and then you all get an ex amount of experience depending on how much. Uh, effort you put into it, which I think is really cool. This game is a lot different from most MMOs. Um, the combat is action-based, which is awesome. You can dodge, you can roll, you can move around while you're using your uh, refreshing while you're using your skills, which is awesome. Right now I'm playing the Thief, which is uh, one of the many professions that you can pick. And the game overall is just really smooth, it's really good. Um, the only reason I've not been playing it so much is because I've been stuck playing Arc Age. I've, there's something about Arc Age, I'm just really liking it. But other than that, after I get bored of Arc Age, I'll probably come back to this game and play it quite a bit. Um, let's see. You can customize your gear to however you want to look. Some of it looks really cool. Uh, I actually bought the Heroic Edition, so I came with some pretty cool looking gear. I'm not wearing most of it right now because it actually gets outdated, but I can use it later and uh, make my other gear look like it. Um, there's no subscription, which is a huge plus. You buy the game once and you play it forever and ever, as long as you want, as much as you want, uh, which is why I'm not really rushing into the game. Uh, I'm going to have it forever so I can just play it whenever I feel like it. Um, that's a huge plus to me. I hate subscription fees. It's the only reason I'm not playing WoW or Wildstar right now is because I can't afford it after having my daughter. Um, let's see, another more pros of this game. Uh, the fact that the combat, you can switch in and out of two different types of weapons, and the way that your skills work, you have different skills depending on what weapon you have equipped. So you say, I've got two pistols right now on this guy, and then I switch and I've got two daggers. I've got completely different skill sets for each of them, and that's just how the skill sets in this game work, and I really like that. Um, like the thief can use a sword, short bow, dagger, pistol, and then there's even underwater combat, which is really cool. You go underwater, you can fight people, and you have like a spear or a harpoon gun, and you get different abilities depending on which you have. Um, let's see, another cool thing about the game is uh, when, you, when you die per se, you actually don't die. You go down. And when you go down, 
basically you go into let's see if I can get this four to kill me. Or come close to killing me. Okay, he's not gonna. But basically, you um, go down and then you have a chance to kill whatever you were killing, and then if you do, you'll get back up. And you have a set of skills that you can use in the meantime. Which I think is really cool because that takes away, you know, when you're in a boss fight and you've almost got him killed, and then he's down to like no health and he kills you and then you gotta start all over again. Well in this game you actually have a chance to finish him off. Um, I can't comment too much on the PvP or PvE right now because I'm still in questing stage. Um, I'll make a separate video for that when I hit max level. Max level is 80 so it's gonna take quite a while and I don't know how much I'll be playing this game actually. I might get back into it quite a bit now that I'm max level on uh, Arc Age. Um, but the pros to this game are pretty high. There's not a whole lot of cons, actually. The game's very th solid, and they're coming out with a new expansion. I think it's next month. And it's going to have a new profession. It's going to have new areas. You're going to be able to glide around. You're going to have new PvE content, new PvP content. And overall, for $30 is what I paid for this game. For that price, I would definitely recommend buying it. There's no reason not to. Like I said, you can you can play it as much or as little as you want without worrying about your subscription fee at all. And it's it's worth the investment, especially since they're going to be adding new stuff all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the cons of the game that I've found so far. There's no mounts. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that there's no mounts because I've always played MMOs where there's mounts and I get to customize my mount. And that's part of the player customization to me. Um, they're adding the gliders in the next one, but I still feel like there should be some sort of mounts. Because the game is really big, but the thing is, like, running everywhere just gets really tedious and boring and can take a long time if you die and don't hit a checkpoint, which is how you primarily get around. You hit checkpoints and then you can teleport to them, whatever. Um, no mounts. That That's kind of a small... That's more of a personal complaint. Some people don't care about that. But I personally My like leg. mounts. Oh, God. Fucking traps. Yeah. Um, there's... No player housing. I really like player housing in MMOs nowadays because, it, again, it adds another level of customization to the game. Um, that's, not, that's another personal preference, I'm assuming, though. Uh, some people don't care about that, but I really like player housing. Um, the, lev the leveling can kind of get tedious and boring from what I've seen. Like, yeah, there's no questing, and you don't ever have to go back to NPCs if you don't want to, but at the same time, you're still kind of doing the same things over and over, which can get kind of grindy. Get over here and help me. sometimes you get stuck. Like, I'm kind of stuck right now because I'm having to go to zones that are lower, which you scale down a level, which is fine. But I was in an area before where I couldn't find my level, and I was just dying because I was only in higher level uh, areas to gain XP. And that got really frustrating, and was part of the reason I quit playing for a little while and started playing Arc Age instead. Because there's no clear... It's not always clear where you should be to get experience. Like, the way the game works is very different from other MMOs, and it can be a little confusing when you first start. See? Like, now I'm in a uh, heart area where I can do these different things, defeat bandit assassins, find bane berries, calm ghost hunting, uh, ghost haunting the lake. And if I complete all that, finish it, it'll give me experience, but I don't have to go back to an NPC and uh, actually do anything. All I have to do is just finish it, and I can move on to the next area instead of having to backtrack, which makes it a little more fast-paced. Um, I'm probably going to go back into the pros of the game a little bit more. Um, I can't even remember what I was thinking. <laughs> but uh, you can customize your, your skill slots quite a bit. Like, you have a... Oh, that's what I was talking about. Um, 
the fact that there are no rolls. You don't have a specific healing class, you don't have a specific damage class, no specific tank class. All classes can do whichever roll independently. Even though the game is very, uh, they want you to work with other players out in the world, uh, you still can function independently. You have your own healing ability, you have uh, abilities that will help you tank, and you have class abilities. The thief is really cool because he can actually steal abilities from different things like this pig for say. I just I just stole from him and now I have a new uh, ability called blinding tough. Throw a hair a handful of hair and then vanish in stealth and blind the foes. <laughs> so I go into stealth and blind people that are around me. And that works differently for each um uh, for each thing I steal from. So if I steal from a different monster, it'll give me a different ability. Uh, each class has different stuff like that. They work totally differently, and the overall way the professions are made is really good. They, they spent a really long amount of time making sure this game is, you know, functioning properly in the way that they wanted it, and they did a fantastic job. Um, if you guys in the future want me to go over some of the classes and tell you what they do, make videos about each one, uh, tell you what they do, what their special abilities are, go through their weapon uh, abilities, uh, just leave some comments in, uh, below and I will definitely get to that because this is a game that I'm going to pick back up eventually and start playing a little more. I'm trying to find a dynamic event for you guys so that you guys can kind of see what that's like. But I de overall, I definitely recommend the game. I don't want the video to go too long. It's already at 12 minutes or so. Um, let me guys, let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know if there's a game that you guys want me to play and do an impressions video about or a review on. Uh, I'm only doing reviews on games that I've hit max level and saw a lot of the content that it has. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing first impression videos on most. Um, here's a dynamic event, actually, for example. See, me and a group of players are actually fighting this thing. Now I'm going to switch the dagger and show us the dagger skills. At the end of each video, I want to show you guys a little bit of the, I want to show you guys a little bit of the combat in each game that I play. Um, now, if there's there's games that I don't actually do any gameplay in because they're so bad that I didn't even keep them installed, then I won't show you, obviously. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what I can do to improve. And I'll see you guys in the next video.